So I got a new power meter here from Amazon, and uh, I want to see how it compares to the Kilowatt EZ. Now a few things about the Kilowatt that can be a bit annoying. Uh, if you're trying to track a PC or a device over time, there's no battery in here, so when you kill power, you got to go back and hit the display to go to 12 watt. And generally when I'm working your PC monitor, whatever, I want to know uh, watts. Even better would have a, a display that shows price too. And I've used an EM100 as well. Uh, I don't think the device is so easy to find anymore, so today, time to try this thing out. So let's see what's in the box. Okay, a little bit of instructions. So here we go. Just a cardboard sleeve, plastic bag. That's it in the instructions that I showed you. So have a close look at this device. Um, I'm looking for a UL listing. And actually here in Connecticut there's a giant UL testing laboratory uh, like 20 miles from my home. So I don't know, gotta look up these logos, see if I have any reason for concern there. But I just do not see the UL logo for US sales, so I find that a little odd. This thing is on Amazon, however, but whatever that means. Let's pull this out. That should give me battery backup of what's happening. Oh, turned down. Okay. Now let's plug it in. That's a horrible reflection. Yeah, that's better. And the iPhone 6 Plus is drawing 12 watts. Let's see what it's drawing over here on this meter. It's a good test of sensitivity. Probably be useful for me to change the 115 to something else. And I have no idea how to do that because I've not read a manual anyway. Let me just take a guess and try value. That worked. Okay. 11 watts while recording video. Or maybe 10.5. So we have a decimal point. So already we're a little more, uh, potentially, precise. All right, we have a time counter. So we've been burning this many watts for 31 seconds. Let's see what happens when I kill power. All right, so that battery actually keeps the LCD fueled up. But uh, we've gone down to zero watts, so I think it stopped the ticker. So I guess that makes sense. Okay, so it's a few minutes later, and obviously it's a running counter of uh, the device drawing power. So we stay frozen in time at two minutes, seven seconds, and we resume as watt burn continues. So I really kind of, I really kind of like what I'm looking at in the left. Now positioning this, well, Kilowatt, that company, makes a device with a detachable display. I gave that a shot, uh, not such a fan because of the, no battery. And uh, very well, it's got a motion sensor, but I didn't really want that. So, this is going to be for my super server. I'm going to leave this running. I'm going to plug it into the back of my UPS if I decide to um, uh, use it there. So, I'll do a little more research on this device. Um, look into UL labels, which I hadn't really thought about. Let's, let's have a look here. All right, so much for my. UL label idea. Uh, you don't get one of those labels in here either. Um, ETB US on. Let's take a look here again. All right, so probably scratch everything I said about uh, UL labels. How about the menus? Let's give that a shot. So, don't know what OK does. Let's finish with value. OK, our peak was 12 watts. 60 hertz, got a little uh, wave showing there, 114 amps, max amps, back to watts. What does OK do? Absolutely nothing on this screen. How about display? Kilowatt hours total, cost. So that's very nice. We can leave it at how much money have I spent and how many watts am I burning. That's probably the display I will leave next to my triple monitor setup in my home office. I like that. 
in total. Excuse me, that's the one I meant. The total cost over time of running that device. How about settings? What can we do with set? We probably need to hold it down. Uh, that would be probably if I get to the display kilowatt hour total. How would it know the cost of electricity for me in my place of residence? Well, I don't know. I need to break out the manual for that one. And we have an H and an M. No idea what's going on there either. Quick look. Let's see if I can figure it out fast enough. Uh, setting price per kilowatt hour, page 19. Press display M until the display shows cost per kilowatt hour. Cost per kilowatt hour. Press the set button for three seconds. And that worked. Now enter the price of electricity per kilowatt hour. So adjust the value with H plus or display minus, so plus and minus and then set. All right. So what if I hit set once because I want to get to the next decimal point? That worked. I'm going to have to look at my recent electric bills to see what that is. I overshot. All right, that worked. So let's say it's 17 cents a kilowatt hour. When I'm all done, push the OK button. And I now should have an accurate reading. Go to display. Over time. We'll see the total cost. Now, display consumption kilowatt hour over the last seven hours. So we got a little LCD bar graph that's going to march across in some way to give me a sense of how much money, well, how much electricity I've used over time. So let's say my server is rendering some video overnight and I'm looking at it in the morning. I would expect to see heavy use in the early night, maybe some mid middle of the night backups and then getting mellow in the early morning hours. So uh, we'll have to see how that works over time. I need a little more electricity used to see these bars go and actually do something. So I think that's enough for my quick overview of this energy meter consumer electronics <laughs> device. Uh, I guess the model is TS838-US with a manual printed just three weeks, about a month ago. So thank you for watching and Thank you for visiting tinkertry.com.